YouTube, what's going on? It's West Coast Gamers here. We are back with a new horse racing game. Now, this game's been out for a while, but it's new for me on the channel. And it's called Photo Finish. It's on the App Store for iOS. I have no idea if it's available for Android, so um, just Google that. Uh, obviously, I'm playing on iOS. And I've been playing for a little bit, and I kind of enjoy it. It's pretty basic, but um, it has some really cool features to it. And it's somewhat addicting, so... Um, there's not a whole lot as far as customization in regards to training and all this stuff you can do. It's very, it's pretty basic, but I kind of like that. It's not too complicated. So here um, we're looking at my horse, another one bite the dust. Um, you see your total earnings on the left, your total races, your horse value, so on and so forth. Um, there's different breeding patterns you can get for horses. You can get black spots. You can get tiger. Um, printed uh, horses you can get a zebra looking horse so there's a lot of customizations with that but you have to unlock those of course and i think they might cost real money i'm not sure there's different jockey silks for different countries um you can obviously also acquire as well um you have to unlock those now uh, there's my foal stranger things which i think i don't know how old my foal is yet but i'm not ready to run yet still too young but she's already i think i don't know if it's a he or she Regardless, the foal is already a tier 2 horse. I think you can go up to tier 5 in this game. Um, Appearance-wise, you can do basic stuff as far as your team colors are concerned. You can see it, it changes. It's pretty basic. Um, as far as that's concerned, actually, to change things up, I might go with the pink horse color. And like I said, this is where you would probably need to spend real money. So that's the only thing. This game is really kind of pay to play, unfortunately. Um, so we'll continue uh, as far as the upgrades. There's my fall right there um, As you can see so that's cute uh, We can go back to my stable and then you go over to the bottom right where it says upgrades here And then with upgrades, uh, this is where you upgrade the stats of your horse on the left harness usually is speed and acceleration uh, Rido is usually just speed alone saddle is speed and acceleration. So you kind of see there are different things um that upgrade different attributes to your horse, which is very important. And obviously the amount that it costs is the green box to the right side of your screen with the, obviously the money uh, symbol. Now, of course, you can see some of these are upgraded to certain levels, right? The, my bit is only at level two because I haven't upgraded it that much, but my shoes, the crop is at level four, uh, stirrup is level three, saddles level three, uh, rattles level two, harness is level three. So obviously, when you hit upgrade, you get to that next tier level to increase your horse's stats on the left side. Um, so that's kind of how that works. So, like I said, pretty simple. And there's not much you need to know um, outside of that. But let's just go ahead and get into a race. Now, there are uh, live races you can do, live season races against other players. There are major events you can do, which are much more challenging. And you... Uh, can acquire more money through those races and there's a circuit race now, i don't know what happens when you complete all 30 circuit races so i'm going to jump into one uh just for the sake of this video and I'll also do a live race um most races there's only a field of six at all times and i will show you guys exactly what you do when it comes to playing um all horses to pretty much stay in their lane whether you're running a quarter mile whether you're running you know a mile you know a mile and a quarter around the track all the horses essentially stay in their lane. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So we click play event, tap to start. So you have to tap bottom right hand corner. Pay attention to my screen. You tap there, you tap there, and you tap there, and then you're off and running. Now this is just a quarter mile. You hit the boost, and you want to try to get it to where the line, where this line is. If you're looking at the right side of my screen, you see where those two dashes are that meet where that white line is. You kind of want to get right on that white line but maybe just a little bit above it in that gray area and this is one camera angle we're looking at here and it's really easy to beat the ai they're not challenging at all so shows your winnings you can also bet so that's a circuit race against ai they're the easiest races to run in order to acquire money of course which obviously with that money you can upgrade your horse let's go to live season and this is where we can actually compete in online stakes against real players so we'll go to play event and that's something about um, building a stable and breeding which you can also do i think you get your first horse for free when you breed so we are the favorite going off at one to four these should be six other real players that we're playing up against as you can see you can wager um 
your money or you can do no wager and if you win and you come in first place you get 10,000 I still think you get money all the way up until like fifth place or something or maybe even six so we're off running to do a different camera angle this time and right side of the screen is the same way you race for all the races so like I said the horses all stay in their lanes and you're just trying to match up your bar to get exactly where it needs to get and we've killed a little bit of our stamina so we're gonna lay off a little bit got a perfect let's see if we can close this race out another perfect and that's a win for another one's bites the dust and there you go we get first place and we beat a couple other people and we get ten thousand uh, dollars for that win so like i said it's really really basic but it's fun i've been playing it for uh quite a couple of hours and i don't know why it's just it, it is fun for a very basic game it's not super in-depth if you're looking for a really in-depth horse racing manager this is definitely not the game but it's basic you play against a lot of other real people which is also what i really like i love the pvp aspect and um yeah the customization the upgrading of your horse is also pretty cool so let's do one more race and I won't take you guys to the circuit race, which, like I said, is a lot. Not the circuit race, the um, the major event. We already did the circuit race, which was against all AI. We just did the live season race against um, other players for online stakes. And now we're going to do the major event. Now, they want me to upgrade my horse's attributes before I get into this race. They need the stamina to go up one more point, and they need the speed to go up nine points. So let's go ahead and do that because we got some money. So we'll upgrade the stamina. And as far as the speed, I don't know if we're going to have enough money to upgrade the speed. Yeah, we need way more money for that. So let's see if we can still do the event even without the recommended speed. Um, we can't do it yet. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's do a circuit race. We'll, we'll probably have to do two circuit races just to get $20,000. And then we'll upgrade our horse, and I'll take you guys into the major event and kind of show you how that works. So all you have to do is just match up the bar. You tap as soon as it gets to the light gray area. And my favorite camera angle is honestly the broadcast view. Um, this one is cool for a more up close look, but I like the I like this view. This is much more realistic, and uh, I just think the overall presentation looks a lot better. As you can see, beating the AI is, is nothing. It's very very easy. But other players obviously are much more challenging. Another one bites the dust with another win. <laughs> and we're going to do one more. And then we'll have enough money to upgrade our horse's speed. And then we'll hop into that major event. Uh, most of the races, obviously, are quarter-mile sprints. But the major event races are, like I said, I think a mile and a quarter. So they're much more challenging um, to deal with, obviously, when it comes to the distance and managing your stamina, which if you didn't um, see... Uh, you got speed, bottom left, stamina is the white bar, of course. So every time you do this boost, what you need to do, you, of course, will lose stamina. See, the white bar drops every time I use the boost. So you don't have to use it every couple of seconds. I mean, you can use it whenever you want. It just depends on how fast or how slow the field is going and whether or not you feel you need to use all of it. So this is getting a little close. So I'm going to use it a little bit more, and we get another win. Um, so, of course, you have to judge how fast the field is going and kind of whether or not you want to deplete all your stamina before the race is over to try to get a good jump or if you're just going to play it safe and just use it when you feel like another horse next to you is also increasing their speed so now we have enough to upgrade our horse go to upgrade we can upgrade the speed here and we will purchase that upgrade and boom now another one bites the dust has 134 attribute for speed 171 for acceleration, 110 for stamina, and 112 for finish. So now we can play this major event. Uh, what else do we need to... Ah, one more point. Are you freaking kidding me? One more darn point for speed. My goodness. That's so petty. We have to do another two races. Golly. I thought we were at 135. And uh, no, we are at 134. Duh. Well, we're just going to do two more of these races, and we should then officially have enough to then try the major event, just so I can show you how different the longer races are compared to the short-term races. For the sake of this, um, this race, I will stay with this view, and we need to, we need to get it together because we're not winning 100%. Okay, get it perfect, get another perfect. Move too early. We still have this race, though. All right, I it up. So 
So we need more, one more win. Um, you can acquire those horses afterwards, but you have to pay. That's what I mean. Those games is very pay to play for a lot of additional stuff. So that's the only thing I don't particularly like. I mean, I understand they have to make their money, so I can't knock them for it. But um, the other game I was playing, Rival Stars, that game, you don't have to. It, it's not pay to play is always going to be an option for mobile games. But that game you can play quite a bit without having to need the the you know the pay to play option and that's why i like i like mobile games where you can still play the game without having to actually use any real game i mean any real life currency and if you want to that's fine i've used it before in the past it's just you don't want to feel like you'll be at a disadvantage for the simple fact that you're not putting your real money into the game you know that's the thing if you if i, I feel like that's cool for cosmetics and stuff but for actual performance i don't feel like that should be such a big deal i don't feel like in order to get better horses you should put you should have to put real money into the game i feel like you should be able to train and really understand the game mechanics and everything that you need to know in order to actually um make your horse better improve your horse's attributes the rating so on and so forth now sure if you want like Let's say a special horse from like, you know, the past, a secretariat or something. Um, you know, that that would be cool. Paying for those horses. That's like DLC for like regular console gaming, if you're familiar with that. But in order to be better at the game, you shouldn't have to pay. That's what I think. Now our horse is ready to do this major event. So now we are going to be wrapping this video up with this race. And you get a nice little view. Steeple Chase Post. I hope this is not a steeple chase race. And this is just the name of the race. 76,000 is the prize. And uh, what's the distance? I don't know. We're about to find out. Oh, terrible start. Okay, yep, a mile and a quarter is what we're going here. And uh, this is the type of race where you have to really manage your stamina right. So you're not going to... What I'm doing now, the boosting, you're not going to do that um every two seconds of the race because your horse will die out of stamina so this is what i mean that by you have to just kind of monitor the field see where your horse is at see where the competition is and judge now i gotta admit i really like the presentation of the broadcast view of this game i mean it looks very very realistic um from that angle when they were crossing the finish line i love that aspect of it um so like i said it's not a it's not a terrible game and like i said i love the pvp aspect that you're playing against other players um but like i said there's not much to it this is pretty much it, and you're just winning races, getting more money to put yourself in higher tier races. I mean, that's really about it. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and look. And you see, this is what I mean by, obviously, the horses all stay in their lane. So, there's no directional change of going to the inside or going to the outside. You stay in your lane. These horses are on a track, not a race track, but, like, actually, like, a track, like an RTA <laughs> transit track or something. And they stay there. So now, because I have so much stamina left, I'm going to go ahead and start using my boost. But as you can see, you don't even really get that far of a jump because they kind of keep all the horses together. The quarter, the races that are only a quarter of a mile are the ones where that really comes into play as far as using your boost. But here, as you can see, I'm using it and... I'm still like right with these horses, neck and neck. And I should be much further. I think I am. Uh, we're getting the lead a little bit. I need to see what's going on here. I'm going to use one more boost. That's a perfect. And I just want to make sure this horse is not passing us. One more boost. Perfect. And another one. And this should, this should be ours. This should be our win, and it is. So as you can see, those races are much tougher, much longer, and some people may enjoy that. I personally like the quarter um, mile races. Um, they go quick, and uh, it's a little obviously easier to manage and get through, but you do these um, big events here, that's $76,000. Steeplechase Post Champion, another one by Dust That 80s Kid. Should have had my name West Coast Gamers, but I wanted to uh, be unique. So that is that, and to show you why winning a lot of money is actually important in this game um i'll show you guys after we do one more race this one is back to the online stakes against actual players this is pvp and because i want so much money actually what are our odds i don't want to wager if they're thinking i'm a long shot you know what screw it let's go ahead 
I'll just wager 15,000 because if we win, then um, we can get 75,000 <laughs> back. So let's see how we do. Good start. Not bad. Not bad. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see if we can get this dub. We're not looking too bad here. There's a perfect. Too early. Another perfect. We might be able to close in. A good. Nope, we're not going to get it. It looks like we're going to get second place. Yeah, we got second place. Oh, we lost 15,000. No biggie. Um, but now I'm going to show you guys what I wanted to show you, which was the point of doing that race. Um, watch out to get money back now. I won't do that right now. These standings. Um, you can see I'm currently eighth in my league, and this league has a lot of, uh, there's 40, I guess it's 50 people to a league. So I'm currently eighth, eighth out of 50 in the league. And as you can see, um, if you look over to the right, you see my number as far as my earnings is 128,513. So whoever finishes first, second, and third, I think in your league, gets those prizes up at the top portion of your screen where you see prizes. It says first place, 250,000, second place, 100,000, and third place, 50,000. So finishing in the top three, you get an additional, uh, obviously, boost of income there um, if you're able to finish at the top three in your respective league. Um, and that money obviously can be used towards more upgrades and making your horse better. North America, I have no idea where I'm ranked. I don't even know if I am. Yeah, I'm not even close. And for here in North America, if you come in first, second, or third, you get the horseshoes, which are used to obviously acquire more horses and other things. And then there's the global rating. So you get to see there's a lot of people really playing this game. Um, because it's very basic. It's very basic, and it doesn't require a whole lot of in-depth stuff in order for you to get familiar and get into it. Um, so this is, I think, photo finish. That is pretty much most of what you need to know about the game. I am not an, uh, an experienced player or a seasoned player of the game. I literally just picked it up. I want to give an honest review. Um, I, like I said, I think if you want to look for a horse racing game that's not super in-depth and you have the option of actually playing against other players, this is the game for you because you don't have to deal with a whole um, detailed structure of you know training and stable management and all that stuff as you can see it's very very basic and it's very easy to get familiar with so if that's your type of game i would recommend it if not um i would still say if you haven't tried rival stars on ios and android definitely download that that's still my favorite game right now i will be playing it here in a little bit but i'll also be doing another review i think there's two more games i want to review that i picked up and download it on here. Um, if you guys have played this game, feel free to let me know in the comment section below whether or not you enjoy it, what you like or dislike um, about it. And if you could smash the like button on this video, that would help out greatly. Remember, if you want to acquire Horse Racing Manager 2, which is only available on PC, go to the description box below on the website, read everything, and I can get that game to you within a couple of hours. And I appreciate you guys' love and support. And I'll be back with some more gameplay and discussion here very soon. It's West Coast Gamer. Sign out to next time. Have a great and fantastic day. See ya and goodbye.